We're in the upstairs hallway. Um, this is the private area. This is the upstairs. This is where the family actually lives. If you notice while we're walking through the house, I don't have a lot of pictures of us around the house because I hate visiting someone and it's a tour of how fabulous they are. Like, here we are being fabulous in Aspen. Here we are being fabulous in the Riviera. Here we are being fabulous in Italy. I just feel like, I don't know, I, I guess I'm more private than that. So what I did was a wall of pictures of our family upstairs. So I can see them, we can enjoy them, but it's not so in your face. And we weren't really being fabulous anywhere, so there's that. Across, we have this beautiful window, which is amazing. And on a clear day, you can see the ocean in this direction also. Interestingly, even though it creates a lovely pattern on the floor like our window downstairs, it also does us a huge disservice, which is it shines light on these pictures and they're fading, which is such a bummer. When we moved into this house, I reframed all of these pictures to a more modern look, but even though I added that kind of glass that protects your pictures, apparently it doesn't work that well because they're all fading. So I'm trying to find all these photographers before they retire or die because a lot of these pictures were taken in the age before they gave you the digital files. Remember those days where they would like print them for you? Yeah, well, here you go. One of my favorite little pictures at Coco. Or is that cat? No, it's Coco. Okay, first of all, remember this incredible crystal light installation that we did? Well, look at this craziness up there. This is what I was talking about when I was saying it was a mathematical equation to figure out how to build these ovals and hang all these wires. We actually drew it on the wall before we put the Venetian plaster up. It was fun, it was fun to figure out. I love this thing. And I love that you can enjoy it from upstairs as well as downstairs. Okay. So in our last house, we had this playroom upstairs for the kids to hang out in. Well, the kids didn't really need a playroom upstairs, but I felt like they didn't have a hub. So I wasn't really sure if I needed to help someone with homework or if there was a tutor coming over, or I don't know, the kids wanted to play a game on the computer together, where were they gonna go? So I decided to build this desk. Terry did not like this idea. He thought this was very, very bad. He said, it's gonna to look too industrial. It's gonna look like an office. He just didn't like it. So I didn't actually have it built in. We Venetian plastered the whole wall, built this thing, and it's just sitting against it. So if we wanna take it out eventually, we absolutely can. Each kid has their own station. We did two computers and a printer up here. And then I thought, oh gosh, we need a place to sit. So I designed these fun little benches. And it's actually just a nice place to sit. We end up hanging out on these chairs more often than you'd think. They're a little silly. Kind of reminds me of ladyfinger cookies, but I don't know. I had seen a chair that I liked and I said, hmm, that's a cool chair. Why don't I repurpose that idea a little bit? I made the back taller, I made it wider, I redrew the shape of it, put some metal on the bottom. I just love the effect. I think it's fun. I love the pop of color. And if you remember, it matches the same red as the Peter Lick photo downstairs. So that way, when you're walking up the stairs and you have that red color in your mind, it really stays with you and flows. My mom was a designer, so when I was growing up, my mother decorated our rooms and we had absolutely no say in them, could never put a poster up, couldn't do anything. And I didn't want my kids to have that. When we started building the house, Coco was three. So when we had to make decisions on her room and I waited for her to the last second, she was probably five and a half. So we started with colors and I said, pick colors. And she was very specific. I remember she wanted pink and I said, what color pink? And she went to her bathroom and pulled out this bottle of Johnson & Johnson lotion and said, this pink. I want my walls to be this pink. And I want my cabinet to be this color. And I want gold and I want silver. And I want a sparkly thing and I want a Lego table. And I, she was very specific and I went, okay. And then I would show her pictures of furniture and fabric swatches and she said yes or no. So I did that with each of the kids. Honestly, the only child who really didn't care was Nikki. And weirdly, he's probably the one that's happiest with his room. So the twins have their rooms across from each other and near the elevator because they're lazy and they don't wanna walk up the stairs from the garage, so it's very convenient for them. I didn't actually do that on purpose, but it's worked out very well for them. This is Nikki's room.
Nikki absolutely loves his room. It's funny, he wasn't that specific about anything. He just said, you know my colors, you know what I like, and I showed him things. He goes, yep, I like it, yep, I like it, yep, I like it. He now says this is his favorite room he's ever had. I really like my room. I kind of just chose my carpet and then where I wanted my bed and my desk, and then also like my curtains, and then my mom like showed me my desk. So I kind of picked like some of the furniture, not all of it though. My mom mostly did it. Out of all the kids' bedrooms, this one is the largest. It's actually a second master. Max was pretty pissed when I gave it to Nikki, but I said, he's a boy. Poor guy, he's surrounded by women all the time. Let him have a cool room. Anyway, so we did his room very masculine, a lot of leather. He loves chocolate browns, he likes leathers. He likes the color red or burgundy, so I did accents of that. When we moved from our rental house, Nikki asked if he could have some of his Uncle Kevin Dubrow's memorabilia in his room. And I thought that was so sweet. I just loved it. So when you look around the room, you could see a lot of Kevin's guitars and gold records and a lot of memorabilia from Quiet Riot. I used a lot of restoration hardware furniture in Nikki's room. I love this desk. It's an aviator desk. And I had bought him this gorgeous chair to sit in. Um, which he told me was not conducive to gaming. And I said, too bad, it's conducive to sitting and studying. <laughs> and well, last year at the holiday time, I caved and I bought him this incredibly hideous, yet super comfortable, epic gaming chair. I tried to make every area of Nikki's room really functional, so check out his closet. More memorabilia from his uncle. He has all his clothes and I gave him a dartboard. What I had not considered was that if he missed the dartboard, it was gonna hit the wallpaper, but whatever, he loves it. It's a really fun closet. He's got his trophies in here, he's got his clothes in here. And I don't know if you noticed, but it's bigger than Terry's closet. Oopsies. Let's go to Max's room. Is that crazy I'm whispering? But she's a teenager, I don't know, I don't wanna piss her off. Okay, this is Max's room. This is such a cool room. She wanted a black and white room. There's sparkly carpet in this room. There's a really yummy marshmallow colored wallpaper on the wall. And again, if you look up at the ceiling, I did borders of the molding in shiny black lacquer to match her bed. There's a lot of fun details in this room. There's cool art. There's this incredible Audrey Hepburn poster. Everything in here was chosen by Max. Max's room is evolving as she's getting older. I added this cool piece recently from the mod shop because she decided she wanted a record player. I didn't know kids liked vinyl, but you know you can't scratch a vinyl anymore. They have like a little, I don't know, a little button you push and the needle just comes out. You can't scratch it. That would have been very handy. I don't know, 35 years ago. So she's got her essential oils and her books and her shelves. She puts her accessories in here. She's got a great closet, beautiful bathroom. Each kid has their own bathroom in their rooms, which, you know, what a luxury. I didn't grow up like that. Me and my sister shared a bathroom. We fought over the bathroom. We had one of these shower tub things where the, where the drain was always clogged. So if you showered second, you were standing in your sister's dirty water. It was disgusting. These kids are very lucky. Each of the kids has a bulletin board in their closet or in their room, but I loved this uh, idea of displaying photos. So I bought these at Pottery Barn Teen, and I took them to BB Simon, and I had them jeweled for each of the girls' rooms. It's really fun. It's a fun way to, to look at all of their friends and family, and let's face it, there's mostly friends there. Okay, let's get out of here before she comes home, because that could be her. This is Cat and Coco's area. So they have mirror image rooms. And so I did a little fancy entryway to their rooms with mirrors and benches that I had custom made because I needed them to be very, very narrow so that you could walk by. Let's start in Coco's room. I did the same art in different colors in Coco and Cat's room so that if the doors are open and you're looking across, 
they feel cohesive, but this is the only way their rooms are the same. What about your room? That was all me. Well, one day, uh, I mean, she didn't really talk about the stuff in my room. I just picked a color for the, like, the room, and I just, like, I used to have this baby bottle. I don't really know what it was. It wasn't, like, an actual thing. Something. And it was, like, light pink, and so I wanted that color, and that's how my room was pink. Now, Coco's little, so she has a lot of stuff. She has the same picture lines that Max has. She loves, loves, loves Legos. So we have a Lego table here with her name on it. These are actually all glued down, so we build on top of them. Her Taekwondo belts and Jiu Jitsu belts are all lined up there. I have to hang that. I haven't done that yet, but I will. The unicorn. The unicorn has had a lot of uses in our home. <laughs> it's a really fun way to get around. I think absolutely everyone's ridden the unicorn at one time or another. If you remember, she wanted pink and gold and silver. So that's what we gave her. Love this little chandelier. And again, I did a colored molding on the ceiling for her to add some interest up there. This really fun bed. And this color right here, this is the color of the Johnson & Johnson's bottle that Katerina brought to me and said, I want my bed to be this color. Voila. Lots of fun pillows. She has her desk. She has storage for all of her toys and games. I did Coco's name as Art. Very sparkly, very fun. And of course, the Real Housewives Award 2015 Best Supporting Agitator. She still has this. She loves this award. Will she still love this award when she understands what the word agitator means? I don't know. This is her collection of little loveys that she sleeps with that's grown over the years. Of course, her Taekwondo Tooth Fairy pillow and Monster Spray. Seven-year-olds need Monster Spray. If your seven-year-old does not have Monster Spray, I highly recommend it because it really helps them stay in their own bed. Very cute little bathroom for my little girl. Sparkly wallpaper bath bombs, sparkly wall art that she chose herself, and toys, because you got to play in the bath. Do you regret it, or do you still like it? I mean, I see, I see. And on the other side is Kat's room. As you can see, more crystals framed a little bit differently in Kat's colors. Caddy's our little golden girl. She wanted gold, 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 and gold. So that is what she got. She didn't want a babyish room. She wanted a room that was a little more grown up, which is why when we chose light fixtures and fabrics and art for her room, we went a little more elegant rather than young kid. I was really involved in my room because I got to tell like how, like what shade of gold and if I wanted like they showed me different carpets and I was like, I like the Cheeto one. And, but there were some parts like I wasn't really involved with like pillows and, and other stuff, but it was still a lot of fun. You can see she has also the picture lines and of course her circle light because she's a YouTube fanatic. She loves to film for her YouTube channel and she's just kind of obsessed by it. I love that Kat chose this emoji for her bathroom. It cracks me up. And also the letter K, her name. Similar wallpaper to Coco's, but gold. And I did the same bathroom accessories for both girls because they have the same countertops. Bath bombs, no toys in the shower. She's beyond that stage, but she does have a makeup kit. She's at that stage. The only thing about this room is that Katerina just turned 12 and she wants to change the entire thing. I would change it and I would change it white walls. This is like my dream room, like white walls. Green, but I would still want like want touches of gold. Plants. And in some of the hanging plants, like really I'm like, okay, there's like I a love aesthetic I would things. pick out I would Target, like Joann's, Michael's. What's that place I just went to? I don't, I just don't know what I'm going to do with that.
So yeah, mom, if you're watching this, please let me redo my room. <laughs> I don't want you to miss any room in the house, so make sure you become a subscriber right now.